Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. What I want to cover in this module is how to stop this happening when you create a new project file. If you don't want that to be the case, the task mode set to manual. And how did I get this bar across the top here so that if I need to change anything in there, I don't need to double click, I can just click up there and fix it at the top and then click the tick, similar to Excel. Otherwise, without this bar, you double click into there and it opens up the actual task information box, which is slightly annoying. So first of all, manual scheduling. Now, I can drop this arrow down and put that to auto scheduled and it will start putting this information in there for me. And that's one of the a bit of a downer, if you like, if you set things to manual, you don't get this information because it's for project plans that you where you really don't know the duration or the likely start or end date. It's just to put information into a project plan. And also you don't get the Gantt chart markers either. Now, and then I could pull that down and then that would fix all of that. I could also have gone down the bottom there where it says new tasks uh, manually scheduled, clicked on that and set that to auto scheduled. So if I create a new task, just call it review for this little exercise, it's automatically coming up as an automatic scheduled task. I could also have used these two buttons to change to flip between the two. So there's lots of different ways that I can fix this problem if it is a problem to you but each time I create a new file if I just do control N and then do a task I want it to be like this automatic now the default setting when you get project is for that to be the the default manual so how do you change that first of all now what you need to do is you need to go into file and options and then you get all these options you need to go into the schedule option and then down the bottom you've got here look new tasks created auto scheduled which is what I've got now there's no good doing that just like for project 3 because that would be the same as clicking this button down here or just changing that what you need to do is drop this little arrow down and select all new projects so that all new projects are set to this that way, every new project, not, not including this one that may already still be on manual, will be set to auto-scheduled, which is what I've got mine on. That's how you change that. If I click OK to that, when I do a new file, Control N, do a task, task A, say, it's in automatically scheduled mode. So that's that one. Now this thing across the top, which is called the entry bar, is also accessed through options. So if I go back in there, file options, and this time it's under display, and what you need to be ticking is this option. So I'll just take it off and then click OK. So that's how you normally have it. Just so put that on. I don't know why it's not default to be honest, but it is once you tick this. So display on, OK you have that feature across the top. Now the last thing I want to talk about is this view bar down this left hand side. When you get project for the first time and you open it, this is not displayed by default. If I just take the view bar off, you normally have it like this. So you've got all this Gantt chart, but nothing there. You just simply need to right click and select view bar. And then it'll show you all the default views or the main views and as you create different views or go into different views they will appear on this bar which it didn't used to happen like that uh, I think that's not good because this thing gets cluttered and slightly becomes counterproductive the reason you want it like there like it is now is because it's got some of the more common views on similar to this group down the bottom here now if I just go into a different view so you can see what I mean if I go into other views and then more views and just get um, for example uh, multi-leveled Gantt can find it multi-leveled multiple baseline Gantt that one I'll go for that okay, apply so then that sits there 
and then for me to get rid of these things and tidy this up and get it back to how it was I need to go back into other views more views and get into the organizer and once you're in the organizer you can then get rid of things that you don't want uh, if I just delete that yeah oh, I can't delete it because I'm in it but I would change the view and I would better delete it and then if it's any views that are sitting in here that you don't want to be in the global template you can just delete them off as well I'll just come out of that I'll just go into a different Gantt chart I'll go back to the normal Gantt chart and do that again so I'm no longer in that view so if I go into organizer I should be able to delete that now yep gone okay and then when I click close that's disappeared out of there so that's how you can tidy it up but it is a great little feature quite quick to get into the Gantt chart but it's also a habit if you've got a habit of going up to the top and selecting views from up here or on the task all these views they're still there they're there on the resource tab as well views and you've got the common ones down here so you've got your, your first one there which is your Gantt chart then you've got task usage team planner and resource sheet they're all there always so that's always quite quick to get to things but obviously this view bar you can use as well so hopefully that was of use to you so we looked at how to activate the entry bar across the top and how to set the default settings so that your task mode is automatically scheduled and finally we had a quick look at how you can add things to the view bar first of all activate the view bar and then add or remove views from it so hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one